Round here. Assist you. Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. So long. Set out. Ah, Witcher. Greetings. Baron's not here. Rode off to find a healer. For the wife, naturally. I know. Seen what's happening outside the gates? What do you mean? Baron left me in command. Told the boys to set things right, put them in order. The new order. They're murdering and pillaging. That is the new order. And I don't give a flying fuck if you like it or not. Proper dang poor this is. Rats. Just sent Grandad out for some joy crystal. Need to talk to you. About? Uma. Gonna take him with me. Gotta ask the Baron's permission. Thing is, he ain't here. Not about to ask for anything. I'm telling you, you can try to stop me. But that'd be an error. A mortal one. Think you got me shaking in my boots? You sure as hell should be. Fine. Cripple's not worth no blood. See the groom. He ought to be glad to give him up. Bugger's been eating from the feed bags. And a pleasant journey to you both. Thank you kindly. to deserve your company. I'm taking Uma. There ain't a... Sergeant Hartle said I could. Bring him back though, won't you? Be awful dull without him. Find something else to laugh at. I don't know. Catch some frogs and shove straws up their asses. Huh? 
That one of your Witcher games. Witcher version's different. Don't make me show you. Open the door, now. Hey, little guy. This here's Roach. She'll take us to Kaer Morhen. Well, come on. displeased with you. Then he ought to ask somebody else for help. The Emperor does not ask anyone for anything. You will ride with us to Vitsima. Sure about that? Don't even try. Fine. Lead the way. And the third army will sweep in from the west to take Banglin. If I may, your Imperial Majesty. Our spies report that the garrison at Banglin consists almost wholly of mercenaries. Bribery, then. We stand to lose exactly no men in battle. And we stand to lose less time. Very well. Give the orders. Then set sail. As you wish. At once! Your Imperial Majesty, Yennefer. I did not have you brought here for an exchange of courtesies. Report. No courtesies needed? Perfect. But remember, I'm not your soldier, or page, or dog, so don't give me any orders. Would you prefer I order my guards? Look around. I need only beckon. Geralt. Now report. Siri. Well, this man is the key to finding her. I give you three solid leads. Trails as fresh as morning dew. The aid of my spies and my court sorcerers. Yet in my daughter's stead, you bring me this... monstrosity? I hope you have more to say. For your sake. Listen. I'm looking for a needle in a haystack. A needle that at any moment can... It's a difficult task. I know this. What of it? Listen to me. I rule the largest empire the world has ever known. I wage a war against the North, command men in tens of thousands, while at home the trade corporations and nobles seek to depose me. You cannot expect me to pity you the difficulty of your task. This monstrosity might well be your daughter. Its body is the product of a curse someone hides inside it. Can you lift this curse? I've done a great deal of research. 
made inquiries, but to lift it, I would need to know the words used to cast it, and that. Raphael Ellen, Kedmel Fali, Drediv Don Eptened, Bandro Ithne Iacus. Dandelion told me. Siri talked to him about it. At last, you provide a pleasant surprise. Lady Yennefer, my question stands. Yes. I, I believe I can. But I must... The details do not interest me. Geralt, you've achieved precious little, yet admittedly more than the bumblers in my spy corps have. I give you half the promised reward. You will receive the other when you bring me Siri. Wouldn't count on that happening. That was no request, it was an order, Geralt. And I advise you well, do not disobey me. This audience is over. Till the next. Could have used some of that famous biting wit of yours. Where'd it disappear to? I mean, you were meek as a novice at Artusa called into the Dean's office. I merely know when I can indulge my pride and when I must swallow it. Unlike some others, I know. Ah, I see. So you show your claws to me because I'm a lowly witcher, but... Do you really wish to do this now, Geralt? We can fight another time, in another place, where the walls have no ears. So, how do we lift Uma's curse? We must take him to Kaer Morhen. Oh, and Geralt, forgive me, but I'm unable to teleport you, Uma, and Roach, so... Don't worry, we'll ride there. Never did like teleporting. Take care of yourself. Wait. Here, probably better if you keep it. Of course. I'm off. Quite a while. Too long. And your journey, how was it? Calm, if you don't count the forked tail that flew over our heads a few miles back. Passenger got a little restless. Hmm. <laughs> what have we here? Multiple deformities, eyes, ears, nostrils, a hair, lip, and is this... Now, now, calm down. Jennifer was right on one count. Thing sure isn't pretty. Don't look all that nice yourself. How'd you get so dirty? Huh? Ah, this. I was mixing some lime for the mortar. Need to patch up the walls before they crumble. A lot of work for one person. Lambert and Eskel not willing to help? Don't see the sense in it? No. Yennefer found more important things for them to do. Yen's here already? And how? Huh. You two argue? Geralt, I understand she's a... Well, how do I put this? Emancipated, strong-willed woman. But do manners count for nothing? She teleports in... Not even a nice-to-see you jumps right into a we've a curse to lift, there's this to do and that. 
So Eskel and Lambert get going. And she went to the guest room to rearrange things through the bed off the balcony. Shame. That was a good bed. Said the same myself. Solid oak frame, down mattress. Tris always said she... Ah, now I see. It's either that, or Yen really hates oak furniture. So what's Yen planning? Wish I knew. I mean she didn't tell you? She told us what she needs to lift the curse, not what she plans to do with it, despite our asking. She's up to something. Glad you noticed. So where is everyone? Eskel's hunting fork tails. Gotta nip that infestation in the bud. And since Yennefer needs to distill some ingredients from their organs, well, like they say, two birds, one stone. Lambert's still in the keep, preparing to venture into the mountains to enrich the phylactery with elemental power. Mm -hmm. And Yen? Assembling a megascope. Wanted my help, running around with some chirping contraption, searching for something. But I'm too old for that nonsense. I should let her know I'm here. If you say so, but don't go thinking she'll throw her arms around your neck. Come on now. What's its name? Scorpion? Beautiful animal. Eskel made camp here. Looks like he planned to stay outside a while. against this tree. A clump of goat hair. Ugh, stench. <sighs> As 
rascal's tracks. The nose knows. Didn't tie itself to this stake. Supposed to be forktail bait. <laughs> Guess it works for witchers as well. As for fork tails, bait them thusly. Pound a stake in the soil, bind a goat to it, then hide ye in near to shrubbery post haste. Brother Adelbert's bestiary, page 82. See your memories back in full, and sharp as ever in spite of your years. You're as old as I am, wise guy. Don't let the gray hair fool you. Good to finally see you again. You too. How are things? Same old, same old. Another day, another drowner. That it? I'm a simple witcher wolf. Don't fight dragons, don't fraternize with kings, and don't sleep with sorceresses. Unlike some. Try to limit myself to the sorceresses from now on. No doubt the most pleasant part. Though I'm not sure it ain't the most dangerous, too. Shh. Hit it. Incoming. There it is. I see it. Picked a bad day to leave its nest. Bastard! We can handle this. Damn it! It's taking off! Hit the wings! Scared to leave the horse down below? Forktail could design a habit. From an artery. Blood's light colored. Can't fly much further. The old hen she cackled. She cackled on the fence. The old hen she cackled. And she ain't cackled since. What's that song? Some old hill folk tune. Perfect for hiking. My mom sang it to me. You remember her? Just that silly song. Nothing else. Landed here. Not very gracefully. Look at the tracks. It broke its wing, I think. Fled to its lair, looks like. Good. Means it's done fleeing. Gonna make a stand. Collect the spinal fluid and get out of here. Cut into its back, just below the skull. Yen tell you why she wants this? Mean you don't know? And that, uh, doesn't bug you? No, it doesn't. I trust her. And they say people learn from their mistakes. What was that? Nothing, nothing. Something about Yen bothering you? Come on, grow a pair. Give it to me straight. You grow a pair and admit she tricked you more than a few times. That was then. Yen's changed. Right. <laughs> Fine, never mind. Let's go.
Hey, what do you say to a little race? Maybe see who's faster, Roach or Scorpion. And who's the better rider. Not really a challenge, because I could beat you riding a lame sow. But why not? You're a lame sow yourself. First to care, Morhan wins! Faster. I blocked the pass last spring. So we approach from the pond side, like when we did the trial of the medallion? Exactly. Remember the way? Not easily forgotten that. He who returns with his medallion will prove himself worthy and may set off on the path. Vesemir ever hear you impersonate him? <laughs> yeah. Old man can't stand it. Savola's breach. Still haven't patched it up? Vesemir'd like to. Doesn't bother me, though. Not expecting anyone to lay siege and... This way, I got a shortcut to the pond. Shame those salamandra assassins didn't punch a few more holes in our walls. Or finish the job and reduce these ruins to rubble. Been thinking. We gonna swim across the pond? No, I got a boat moored there. You know, for fishing. I use bombs. I drop them in and scoop up whatever floats to the surface. <laughs> that makes sense. Hunting's almost a diversion with that game. Well, well. Color me impressed. Where'd you learn them tricks? It's an art. Learned it from this old master down in Zaraki. Save that tale for your next sorceress. Thank <laughs> you. 
tell me about Vesemir. Things any better between you? Seems so. Old man's dropped the moralizing, and I try not to piss him off too often. Mm -hmm. Working out well? Moderately. Castle's pretty big. Easy to stay out of each other's way. Damn it! Moored it right here, I swear! Line must have come loose. Really? Here I thought the boat untied itself to go for a jaunt on its own. Damn it. In this fog, we'll never... There a storm before I arrived? Let me think. Yeah, five days passed. Mm. Wind must have grabbed the sail, tugged the boat off its mooring. Boat drifted into the bushes. Water hag. Great. Last thing we need. <laughs> All right. Cave entrance is just opposite. See it? Gotta sail across the pond, go through the cave, climb Troll's head, and we're there. Doesn't seem like such an ordeal now, does it? No. Still gives me the shivers, though. You know only two boys returned from my group? You were the ones who ran into old spear tip in the caverns, right? Mm-hmm. That's still gnawing at you? Gnawing? No. Straight old pisses me off. What the fuck was that trial for? Most who returned from the Circle of Elements died within a year in some swamp, hunting drowners for Crown 30 ahead. So exactly what was the point? Ought to ask Vesemir. Oh, I have. Many times. Believe you me. Let's go. Jump in the boat. All right. I'm taking the tiller, though. Because? Because it's my boat, not up for discussion. this boat yourself? Yeah. Something you don't like about it? Besides the water up to our ankles? Nothing. Quit whining. It'll make it across the lake. Provided we don't smash into something first. Barely see the tip of my nose. Fog's thick as curdled milk. Never took you for a poet. Oh, but I am one. Wanna hear a limerick? Sure. Lambert, Lambert, what a prick. Not bad.
fall off a bit. Sails fluttering. Don't teach your grandma to suck eggs. Right, almost there. Ready for the caverns? Almost. Before we go inside... Ugh, drink a dose of cat, I know. Any more words of wisdom? Like, step softly or you'll wake old spear tip? Old spear tip still down there? Yeah, he is. Unless he's done us a favor and killed over on his own. Could come at us at any moment. How'd the rhyme go? Old spear tip's a deep sleeper. Wake him up and you'll sleep deeper. Come on. Help! Hear that? Sounds like a kid. You know this valley's uninhabited except for us. It's gotta be an illusion. What if it's not? <sighs> Whatever you want to do. We'll investigate, just in case. You know, Vesemir's right. You do poke the damn hive, almost always. Fine, let's go. Hey, little guy. It's all right, you're safe now. Fine. Consider yourself vindicated. You were right. Well, well, what do you know? We can talk about that later. Got the Foglets to take care of now. I will not. In fact, whole world should hear about the time the famed Geralt of Rivia was duped like a child. Think we ought to get Dandelion to write a ballad about it. How's that sound? When someone's life might be threatened, I'd rather be safe than sorry. Enough said. Of course, the noble white wolf never abandons a man in need. He's more saint than Witcher. Changing subjects. Did I see right? Was that boy... Yeah. One of ours. Must have drowned during his trial. Foglets remembered his voice and appearance. Charming. Let's get out of here. Needn't ask me twice. In fact, I didn't even want to come here. Lambert, enough.
my. Not if I give you a boost. Remember? Part of the trials. A witcher is a lone hunter. But even a lone hunter can use a helping hand sometimes. Vesemir. Ready? Oh! You fat fuck. One, two, three. You're no feather either. Come on, let's go. Wall looks a little shaky. Ard, maybe? Mm -hmm. Wake old spear tip. What? We need to be quiet. I could do without a warm welcome I'm from old spear tip like that. Relax. I slip. Something tells me he's not gonna like this. Something fell in my eye. Splinter. Bones. Pulverized. Mm-hmm. Old spear tip's never been kind to guests. Hear that? Mm-hmm. Old spear tip's looking for us already. Ugh. Place reeks of mold. What did you expect? Scent of violets? Would have been nice. Just <sighs> lost the element of surprise. <laughs> Couldn't care less. I'm up for the challenge. Probably. Let's get out of here. Wait. That's for Voltaire, you whore son. <laughs> Voltaire. Who's that? Don't remember? Little guy. A scar on his chin, right here. Oh, yeah, I remember. All we can do now. Never made it out of here. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> 